Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. Today we're just going to do some custom cards. A couple cards I came up with. Um, one of them is a Skellige card, the other one's a neutral. Uh, the neutral card was uh, suggested by one of the viewers. Um, he wanted me to create something for this specific character, so this is what I came up with. I think it's pretty funny, especially the end result. Um, but uh, if you're new to this channel, I'm six subs away from a thousand so if you're new to the channel hook a brother up i don't usually plug that at the beginning but i probably should but um yeah uh so today we're doing custom cards first one i came up with is the dimmon boatswain okay so he's five strength he shouldn't be row locked but uh he's five strength and he moves a unit to this row on its side and give it anchor if it's an enemy damage it by three so anchor what it would do is it would be similar to adrenaline rush where it would put like a little anchor at the bottom of the unit whichever it may be and that unit can no longer be moved so if you play your spy and you throw it into skellige storm next turn you they move it out you move it back in and uh you anchor it to that area so more than likely you're going to play this for axemen and you're going to try and pull things into weather or you could if you're playing against like movement scoyatel you might want to just anchor your own axemen where you want it to be it, it all depends it's uh it's how you want to do it it's just that because axemen need that unit either to be in their well that unit into their row or if they get moved out of their row the, the card's pretty dead um so i thought this would help it out a little bit um i just uh i i, I like axman it it's it seems like it's a, a kind of a 2-0 faction but um I, I feel like it it just needs a one more thing and maybe this could be it um, it doesn't do the multiple pings like the other ship does, but uh, I think the anchor is just important, especially if you threw Older Rick to the other side of the board and threw it into the the weather and it can't be moved, so it's going to be constantly ticking and ticking and ticking, which is what Axemen need. So, that's that card. Let me know what you think about that one. Uh, next one is, this was uh, suggested by Evan Cosworth. He's uh, always been uh, really great to the channel. So he wanted me to create Kalkstein. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So this is what I came up with. Um, Kalkstein, uh, he's only two strength. And when you play him, move Phosphorus and Wyvern Oil into your deck. And then he also has Death Wish. Play a random alchemy card from your deck. So you could build this up around, you know, he's a Vilgefort's target. He's uh, a Death Wish target if you want to use him in um, monsters. I, I don't I don't know how you would kill him in other factions, but I'm sure there's ways you can. You can even play him into the fire if you wanted to, or you know frost or whatever. But he's going to spawn these two uh, components, and then when he dies, he can play another alchemy card. It might be one of these two. So the first one is. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is just deal six damage to an enemy. And then I put in there if Wyvern Oil was already played, create Cockstein's demise. Okay, so it's it's basically he dies and then he does six damage. So he's a little bit weaker than a Arachospor. But he's he's a combo piece. He's something you're trying to build for the end. You're trying to get this Cockstein's demise. But uh, yeah, it's just a it's just a six damage spell that uh, hits a hits an enemy. Well, you can do it. It's not tar it's targeted, so you could you could pick where you want it to go, which is good. Okay, and then the other one is the oil. And the wyvern oil strengthen an ally by six. If phosphorus was already played, create Kalkstein's demise. So this one's a strength, and I I figured it should be better than the wyvern shield. Um. It uh, it's giving you a little bit of a bump, especially if you got something like carryover on the board, or 
if you're playing something like, uh, you know, Kahir, you could buff your leader with this even more. And then uh, once you play Kahir, you're going to have a real big Calvate. But, uh, yeah, it's it's another combo piece. Um, this one shouldn't have a real lock on it. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, it would... It would just strengthen a unit, so I think that would be pretty decent. Um, it it does put some of your cards out of play, like if you use this on, say, a slave driver, then you couldn't res it with ointment. But uh, I, I I feel like this card is is nilf guard focused, but I'm sure there's other ways you could use it, especially with the end result. <laughs> Uh, so I had to do some. Re I had to do a lot of research because I've really n never played Witcher uh, two or three or one. So, um, I had to. I rebought Witcher three uh, for PlayStation four because my computer. That's why I haven't been putting videos up for it. It just does not like it. It's like watching stop animation. And. Uh, but this is the end result of if you can get these two combo pieces out. Coxine's Demise. Uh, destroy your opponent's highest and weakest unit. Um, I guess when... Uh, turn the, turn the, the video off if you don't want spoilers. But I guess in the game, uh, Coxine gets burned at the stake. And when he does get burned at the stake, uh, I guess some firework goes off. And it says it's a big pecker in the sky and it says Radovid sucks <laughs> so I figured they could just put like a little a real little you know firework pecker in the air and it'll it'll just say Radovid sucks and like little sparkles or whatever but basically it would scorch it, it would destroy the highest and weakest unit on your of your opponents so if they only have two units on the board they're both gone you you just nuke their whole board in one turn it's stronger than Scorch, but it's, it's well, it depends on if things line up. If things don't line up, then, you know, Scorch might be better, but you're trying to get something. You're, it, it takes so many things to get to this point, so I figured it should have a lot more oomph than Scorch. But, uh, this is what I came up with, uh, Evan. I uh, hope you like it. Uh, if you got any characters you want me to create a card for, or if you have your own cards that you've created and you want me to take a look at them, let me know. Um, I like making the cards. Um, Gwen always has just amazing artwork. This, so unfortunately, I'm not an artist, so. <laughs> but uh, I'm more of a meme artist. But uh, I just like creating them. I think it's cool. Um, we get a decent flow of cards but uh it's always nice to just throw some ideas out there and possibly uh um maybe give cdpr some ideas so that's the video for today guys like always thank you thank you for watching i greatly appreciate all of you and we will see you guys next time